I know it's so easy to get into YouTube now. Yeah. There's multiple big creators that film just on their phone, like sideways like that. There was like this first wave of creators and then I was probably that like second wave. What's the maddest thing you've ever done for the video then? Climb the Hollywood sign, like the helicopter came. That was pretty funny. I had a kid pull a knife on me and I pulled my <laughs> knife out, but then there was another kid with a backpack and we didn't know if he had a gun. So it was a little sketch. And then I pulled my knife out. <laughs> What is happening, people? We're back in LA again for another episode of the Chat and Pony with Paddy the Body. Before we get started, as always, let you know you don't have to watch this on YouTube. It's on Spotify and Apple Music. You can download it on there just to listen to it. And then if you want any body merch, get on the Apex website. It's all on there. But today, we've got it. We're in a studio as well. This is a belter. But we've been talking for a while, been trying to get something sorted, and I finally got him on, on the podcast. So. Danny, introduce yourself, lad. Hi, I'm Danny Duncan. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for having me, man. I'm stoked. Can you understand me? I, I had no clue what you were saying at the end right there. <laughs> Did you not catch any of that intro uh, there? I heard Just, the studio part. Yeah, that was I, it. Didn't, I didn't know what you said after that. <laughs> so how new is this studio, lad? Because it looks fresh. Yeah, uh, a few months ago, finished. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Took a little bit. Andrew designed it through the bonsai tree in. Killed it. You want to make sure you don't spill a coffee or not on any of those lad all white? No, we got we got a vacuum upstairs. Yeah, yeah. And lad, bleach. the vacuum's not gonna show us that. If you drop some coffee on that rug, lad, it's all white in here. Yeah, we'll see. I guess we'll, we'll find out. Someone will spill something. Oh, uh, sick. But anyway, you're known for your YouTube videos. So, how did you first start getting into being a content creator? Um, when I was a kid, I kind of was always just doing crazy stuff. I'm from Florida. And, uh, yeah, we, I watched Jackass growing up, Bam Margera. Yeah. I don't know if you know them, but, um, yeah, Johnny Knoxville. So we'd always just copy what they did and then we still copy what they do <laughs> uh, now. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I came to LA and started working with skateboarders, uh, primarily I was like a training athletes and then I ended up getting into YouTube from there and then stayed in LA and just kind of kept doing it, going back and forth between here and Florida. Um, and yeah, and then it just started working and I was like, Oh I, got, I remember getting like 10k subscribers like i was like no way and you had like 10 bucks in your account 20 yeah. bucks in your account 30 bucks i was like you can make money this is wild and then uh yeah i just kept going and then it ended up working out so very fortunate ended up working out well you've just said you got happy when you got to 10k followers on uh, youtube what's it like getting to like 7 million or whatever yeah, no, it's whatever like, it is now because it's, it's just ridiculous it it's means nothing it's crazy <laughs> like i Yesterday, actually, we hit 7 million. I, there's, I don't care at all. I, I never cared too much about followers, but like hitting 10K was a way, way better feeling than hitting 7 million, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, was a, that was a big deal. What was it like hitting a million then? Because that um, must have been a few years ago. Yeah, that, I remember that was pretty cool, too. Yeah. Yeah. That one, 100K, a million, and then I didn't care yeah. from after then. When I, you get the plaques. Yeah, well, yeah, I think 10 million is the next one, but I don't really have a desire for that. It doesn't matter. I've um, got the under K plaque, you see, that's the only reason I know. Yeah. Because yeah. I got the under got K it? one. Yeah, 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 I got yeah. that one, the silver one. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's yeah. Sam when that comes, like, oh yeah, that's yeah. it's all right. It's nice. Yeah, I got I got mine upstairs. I got the hundred K and the million. Yeah. Nice. And then, yeah, then my podcast will <laughs> Your podcast will bump you up to ten yeah, million, we'll, lad. Well, I'll put it on a separate channel. We'll get another plaque for that. <laughs> oh yeah, separate channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're ready there man's all on one channel I'm, oh really I, yeah true i have needed though to get to the million i'm i'm, I'm stuck on like 800 and something thousand oh you are yeah oh this will bump you up then yep you know that fella <laughs> hey, he's on it he knows everyone on the youtube loves him no <laughs> you might gain a thousand we'll see <laughs> more than that lad more than that but obviously how what so when do, how old was you when you first started making youtube videos i don't know maybe like 22 yeah 22 yeah so what was you doing before then uh i was training athletes yeah yeah so I, I like worked at the ymca at first and then i just started um i had like a good mentor and then he was kind of teaching me everything like how to do it and then i got like certified and then i would just work with all the like the local athletes baseball football basketball just whatever and then uh yeah, I kind of just did that track coach. Is around. that how you started getting into YouTube though at first with it the was, track coach stuff? Well, yeah, I was like doing all this athlete stuff. Like I really love sports. Yeah. I always love sports. And then uh, so I was working with all the sports teams, all the athletes I could. And I I, I grew up skateboarding too and love skateboarding. And I, no one helps skateboarders at all. Like, yeah. they, But they're the ones that are really like destroying their bodies the most. So then I was like, 
I, I just had this idea. I was like, man, I feel like it would work with skateboarders. So then that's when I came to LA Yeah. and then it ended up working pretty well. And then, uh, yeah, did that. And then I was already in LA and I met people and then my f one friend was doing YouTube and then he was like, yeah, you could do it, man. You're crazy. Just keep going. And then I just was like, Fuck it. and then, so we had filmed together and, uh, slowly, I remember I'd gain like 10 subscribers a day and then eventually I was gaining a hundred subscribers a day. And I was like, man, if I could keep gaining a hundred subscribers a day in a year, I'll have like 35,000, you know? <laughs> and so I just, it was just a slow grind. I never had anything really that blew me up. It was just like, I just was consistent with it. Yeah. And then, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I think tw 2017 was when I started making like r real money. Yeah. I'd say like started making a hundred grand a month off merch and then eventually a million a month off merch. And then, but yeah, 2017, 2018, 2019, then it just, just started going crazy. And then, yeah. uh, but I was never the biggest creator. I was always like just a solid fan base. Yeah. Like I still only have 7 million, but I'm bigger than anyone with 10 million. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, you've got them ones that you've had for years. Yeah. Just these loyal followers. I'm sure you yeah. have the same thing. Like the just same loyal. High cause. Yeah. And I'd rather have that. I'd rather have that like loyal audience than 20 million. Yeah. Owns up a sense. Yeah. So I, I, I'm really glad I have what, what I have right now. The way you mentioned it there, because I've had Steve on the podcast, yeah, and he said like all the jackass boys, they were just all skaters. But he said when like YouTube and that come about, all the skaters had one up on everyone because they was using camcorders and that to yeah, record yeah, the skating yeah. videos first. Yeah. So he said if you notice a lot of like content creators all come from skateboarding. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, we were we were always filming. Like that was the only reason people had cameras when I was a kid was yeah that's to what he film said. The, the skate parts and because I didn't have a camera but. I have it. The only clips I have from me as a kid really is from my friends that I skated with. Yeah. It's pretty funny. That's what he said, because obviously back then no one had camera phones and stuff. You couldn't just pull your phone out and go like that. He yeah. said everyone was getting VHS tapes and putting them in and yeah. recording. It looks like, like it was filmed with a brick. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> and they still use it now today because yeah. right? it's like vintage. It's like, it is quality though when you look back at all the tapes because now it's so easy to video something. I know. All you got to do yeah. is pull your phone out yeah. and video something. Sideways you do a whole yeah. YouTube video. Yeah, but back then, lad, it must have been so much time and effort. I know, it's so easy to get into YouTube now because you really, I mean, yeah. there's multiple big creators that film just on their phone like sideways like that. Yeah. And it's like, it's all you really Dad, I get interviews now when I'm at places and people haven't got real cameras anymore. They've just got the phone. It's insane. With like a mic connected to it. And yeah. you're like, is that really Yeah, the, the entry level now is, is insane. Like, because people always ask me like, "What camera do I get?" It's like, dude, just wear it, just make good content, yeah. and film it with the phone, and you're good. <laughs> like, but it's, everyone makes like the same content, so it's hard for people to succeed. But, yeah, that, yeah, that's how you stand out, isn't it? Doing something different to everyone else. Exactly. It's not what camera you're using or what setting you're using to put on your on your videos and stuff. Yeah, it's what you're doing in the video. Exactly. That's why we're so big. Yeah. You know. Right. My man making me feel all important here. <laughs> <laughs> making me feel like I've got more than a million subscribers sitting here bigger meal. Oh, it's boss. Instagram media. Yeah, on Instagram it's it's over a million like, but you can't say nothing on Instagram either. No. Literally, or TikTok. Not lads. <laughs> they delete everything. I don't even go on that TikTok. I haven't got a clue what I'm to do. I'm surprised I even know what you're saying. I know. Let's see, we were talking about this before the video started. Like, <laughs> YouTube, cap, what are they called? Closed captions or something on YouTube? Oh, yeah, yeah. That, lad, so they bad. are the worst. Like, if someone puts these on for me, yeah, it'll be saying something completely different. Cut to that clip of, like, what it says on his video. Oh, lad, I swear. Some of my videos, it says I'm saying something, a completely different sentence to what I'm actually saying. That's why people comment on it sometimes. We need subtitles, the closed captions are terrible. Yeah. You can't understand what I'm saying. Zuckerberg's like, I don't know what this guy's saying. Get rid of him. Yeah. <laughs> don't get me started on Instagram, lad. You can't say nothing on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can't call someone a sausage on it now. Yeah, why is that? I don't know. It's what just, does sausage even mean? It's just an insult. You know what I mean? But what is the insult? Like you're calling it like a Um. Yeah, you could say that. You know what I mean? I've, our version of that, though, was to call someone a helmet. What's that? A helmet, a bullet. Bellend. A what? A bellend. What's that? Balland? What would you use call How do you a bellend? A dickhead, yeah. Oh, that's a <laughs> Oh, helmet. <laughs> helmet. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we call yeah, you yeah. a helmet, you. Yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. You know what I mean? Because it's not like swearing. Like the end of a bell. Yeah. None of my friends are circumcised, so I don't know what that means. <laughs> nah, I'm not. I'm, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm not circumcised. Why is that normal here? <laughs> <laughs> then you don't have it, do you? What? Isn't it hidden? No. What? Where's that lad? Is that normal to be circumcised in America? Which one's circumcised? The normal one or the not normal one? That's not normal to me. 
it's normal to be circumcised. Yeah, a lot of people yeah. are circumcised here. Whoa. <laughs> if you watch American porn, it's normally all circumcised. I, I feel like you guys are lucky though. You can like put your keys in there. You can like <laughs> anything you want. No, I can't, it's not that big. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no. But last week, dude, in fact, no, what? That's just where I'm going to bell him. Sure, Blaze said he was circumcised. <laughs> Lad, that's weird, that. I thought, I thought that was a religious thing, like a religion thing. I think Jewish. Yeah, it does. Jewish, like, is Jewish, circumcised Jewish or not circumcised. gets circumcised at a young age. Culturally, they just started doing it as like a hygienic So Americans just, just do it for a hygienic thing. Yeah. Just cut off the top of someone's penis when I they're didn't young. Mind, I didn't mind three years hygiene. ago. I didn't mind three years ago. Three you can do it later. Yeah, yeah. Your head's gone. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say this, fellas. <laughs> did you do that for a YouTube video? I was going to say, lad. Is that so? What so we did? I'm stood in the room here. Most people in here are circumcised. Yeah, that's just normal. Probably everyone, right? Yeah, Meet Tommy, you're not liar. Stefan, show him, show him your. D- uh, <laughs> <laughs> get your d- out, lad. Oh, that's mad. That you know, as I say, I thought that was a religious thing. That just blew me mind. I went blaze said it to me. I thought like, nah, that's just your family have done that to you because they didn't like you when you were a baby. You know what I mean? But that's normal. That's had to hurt. Oh, what? That's got. That's hilarious. And then when you just said they got it done three years ago, I was they, thinking, no, that is a re- you can do that. This is like real surgeries to do that, that later, but it's obviously obviously you get put asleep for that though. Nah, I think you do it awake. Don't lad. <laughs> I've seen horrible WhatsApp videos like that. Like, you know what I mean? They videos these... get sent around on WhatsApp like that, but oh. they have these combos now. You can get your wisdom teeth removed and, a, and I'm glad go away at lad. the same time. <laughs> What's the maddest thing you've ever done for a video then? Yeah, nothing really, honestly. I don't know. I get asked you, that a lot. I get yeah, asked you've that done I some mad shit, you lads. So I can't what's think like of anything. The, the maddest. Oh yeah, one of the crew. What's the maddest thing he's ever done? I don't even know. You know anything? <clears throat> there's so much. I feel like there's so much. There's so much. I feel like there's just a lot of so random. much. One thing just doesn't stand out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything like one big. Have you ever hate yourself <clears> doing anything? Dude, honestly, not really. This mother hit me on a dirt bike. That's about it. Yeah. We weren't even filming. <laughs> That's like, Did you even catch it on film? I, I've like done it like flipped flipped cars and shit, but I haven't gotten hurt. Yeah. Yeah, I try to be pretty like safe. I do my best. You know, like I yeah, try to know, always like, like Yeah, I try to like what's the word? Like educated uh I don't know. Yeah, educated yeah. risk. Yeah, I really try my best and I don't want anyone to get hurt. I don't want myself to get hurt. Um yeah, like I flipped a smart car, like like fully did a front flip, like hit the ground and rolled, and it was completely fine. <laughs> uh, but I had a helmet on too, and we probably didn't. Did you have like a helmet. roll cage or anything? Nah. smart car, no. No, but it was fine. It was just like didn't didn't really matter. Yeah. Um, and then we flipped though. I had this like three wheel car, like two wheels in the front or in the back, one in the front. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or no, no, reverse, right? Two in the front. Two in the front, one two in the back, the and I had me and Key one, and. Uh, the t- back tire popped, so we were doing that, and then I fully flipped it, but we were still fine. I was like, we got lucky. And that was right after he hit me, and my foot was all fucked up, too. Surely but, you've got to have extra seatbelts on, though, not just a normal yeah, seatbelt. No, just normal seatbelt, but it had this, like, uh, this roll cage thing. That's kinda, only, like, behind yeah, it, like Not that. a roll cage, but, like, a, be, yeah, behind it had, like, this bar, which helped us a lot. Yeah. Because when we rolled it, no one, like, we were completely fine, but little things like that, but... uh yeah, I climbed the Hollywood sign like when I first got to LA and like the helicopter came. That was pretty funny. <laughs> well, when when I um, looked at the Hollywood sign when I was here last year, someone was doing it. Oh, really? And I didn't realize you couldn't go up to the Hollywood sign That's either. Funny. I thought when I was walking up to there, I was going to the actual sign. I was going to like touch it and, uh, and I got there and it was like a mile away. I'm like, what? I heard, I heard back in the day you used to be able to like horseback up there yeah. and touch it and take pictures. And I was I was looking up at it thinking, why aren't we by it? And then I heard all helicopters could see all police and there was three, three people walking towards it. They were like, imagine it was please the, stop, <laughs> please stop. It's like, f***ing hell. Alex, imagine it was the day we were there with like Ramon and them having them do it. <laughs> Dude, that'd be so funny. It was a sunny day, like it wasn't like this. Was how, long, how long ago was it? It was last year. Oh, last when year. When was that when I come last year? Was it August? Yeah, it was yeah. August, True. July, August. That's funny. So it wasn't that long ago, but it was warm then. As I say, the weather here is atrocious at the minute. Did you get 
No, I had to go to court, but um, I, go to court. My, I just paid a lawyer to go to court for me. And then uh, I think I got like 20 hours of community service or something. Yeah. So what did I have to do for the community service? You just find someone local to sign off. <laughs> I've donated to, I've donated like thousands of hours though, so I don't I don't think it's a bad thing. <laughs> I don't think you can say that on camera though, you know. You're gonna have to maybe beep out. Beep, what I yeah, said. we'll just uh, we'll edit we'll edit that <laughs> out so the do? court. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah. <laughs> we'll edit that out so the court don't get on I'm saying what I'm trying to It was a long time ago. <laughs> I thought if you like murdered someone a year later they can't convict you or something. What are the rules on that? No, that's isn't the double like, jeopardy lord. Isn't there like tons of weird rules? I remember like that? watching that in school in the R E for education purposes. That's crazy. OJ yeah. Simpson. What was the rule with that? How did he get out of it? If it doesn't fit, it quit. That's how we <laughs> that's how we got out of it, lad. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> if you put a sandal though outside in the sun, like the sandal will shrink. You know that, right? Yeah, no, but so that with OJ Simpson, didn't he have a um, he took medication or something to make his hands not blow up and he told him not to take his medication so his hands blew up and then he said try and get him to put the gloves on so uh, the gloves didn't fit because he'd stopped taking his medication so his hands went fat that's, i don't i've known nothing i about don't really know nothing about yeah. it either it was before my time great but, athlete yeah that interview with him no i've seen the interview with him um, sasha baron cohen but no. he's in character no no and he's <laughs> he's funny though i love him it's on like the dictator or something like that and he's chatting to him he's going uh, oh yes uh, you kill your wife just like me something like that and, it's just like, <laughs> and OJ's just like uh, uh, OJ doesn't know what to say to him lad it's hilarious you know yeah, he's, he's classic <laughs> he's great fun. lad bore that lad when that first came out people's heads fell off yeah people were going mad over that you wouldn't be able to bring that film out now you get cancelled yeah I think he did a new one I haven't watched it though probably not as he's good he's done multiple new ones Annie. there was <laughs> There was one called Bruno. Yeah. And then there was another one called The Dictator. I've but, seen Dictator, yeah. That right. one's funny. Kind of. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? Well, I was, I was waiting. Nothing's ever beaten Borat. Yeah, no. Like, definitely not. Nothing ever beats the first one. But no, the way I asked you before, has you ever been hurt? Has anything ever went wrong in one of your stunts then? No? Um, I don't think so. Nothing, right, Alex? Kids I was going to say, use a perfectionist oh, yeah, yeah. use, lad. Nothing's ever went wrong. This wasn't even our idea. It was my friend's idea, and he f like, what were they doing? It was like a, it was like a two liter Coke bottle. They put some shit in it, and then it would like, like yeah, liquid, nitro or something. liquid nitrogen. You can like go like that, and it'll shoot up. But he did something. I think they closed the cap, and all the pressure, it exploded. Dude, his thumb almost ripped off. Yeah, it was, that was pretty bad. Uh, I mean, that, I mean, we've had so many like close calls. Like, we did this airbag thing. And these airbags would just like blow up, you know, and like launch something. But one like imploded and we had an Xbox on top of it. So the whole thing just like exploded. It was, it was crazy. And then uh, pieces of the Xbox were going flying, like hit one, like pieces of metal, like hit this one kid in the head. Like it was great. <laughs> but no one got like really hurt. It was, everyone was fine. But it was like, it could have been so bad. Just ballistics flying everywhere, but yeah, everyone it was, dodging it. It was nuts. Like shrapnel yeah. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, we've had people like uh, that one guy, Eric. Remember he like like broke into our like office and like said he was gonna kill everybody or like shoot everybody like just random shit like that. I had a kid pull a knife on me. Um, that must that must be normal in America though. Not normal, but no. it's like it happens. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I thought that'd be half normal in America. Yeah. I'd rather someone pull a knife on me than a gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, I, 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 um, in that moment. It was just me and him, and he was filming, and he's like, "Dude, come on!" And I pulled my <laughs> knife out, but then there was another kid with a backpack. And we didn't know if he had a gun, so it was a little sketch. <laughs> He's just, and then I pulled my knife out. <laughs> Alex was on. He was like, come on. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, that video. Just walk around with knives. And we got that on video, you. though. That's pretty you funny. We got that on video, yeah. 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 That, that Lad, was... As I said before, it's crazy the way in America, if you say the word people look at you like that. Yeah. But you can just walk around with a gun on your hip. And not here, though. Like, it's mad. I know yeah, you can't. That's, that's, why I have like, a, that's why I have a knife. That's yeah, but that's why I have a knife. Yeah, in Florida, <laughs> in Florida, we in the UK carry. you can't walk around with a knife. You can or can't? No, it's illegal. You can't really? walk around with a knife. Unless it just sucks here because, like, if I in Florida, I have like I'm legally allowed to carry a gun. Blah blah blah. Is it open carry in Florida? Not though? open, concealed. But concealed. I have my like concealed carry. But then in LA, you could just have anyone with a gun here, and then I'm f because I don't have a gun. That's the thing that's sketchy. Why? What? So if well, you're not a resident here, <clears throat> is that what it is? You can't have a gun. Here or I think I just haven't. I haven't done the. I guess, but I don't think you can. You can't concealed carry here at all, right, Alex? Uh, not. It's far from LA County. 
Yeah, that's gonna be like nearly impossible. I could probably yeah. I can get one for in my house probably. Yeah. Um, but you have to have if you want one in your house. Like for me right now, I would just put a legal gun in my house. Yeah. And hopefully, if someone breaks in, <laughs> but then it's like then you're not. F- but otherwise, when you're out and, and there's criminals, it's like kind of sucks for me because if someone wants to come in, you know, it's like oh, I have my knife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, and then I'm. F- yeah, and I'm not a that. and I'm not an MMA fighter, so I don't got much. I don't uh, think it matters much if you're an MMA fighter or not. If someone's a little got bit, a gun, though, a little bit though, and maybe a little bit. But <laughs> as I say, if someone's got a gun, especially here, lad, and it's an automatic one or a semi-automatic, it's not. Yeah, I'm not really gonna be able to do much. Probably, probably won't be automatic, especially at like ten feet. Yeah, do jumping kick or something. I'd try it, like <laughs> like Neo off the Matrix doing all that, trying to dodge you. Fall over because I'm a fuck. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> how much how much do you weigh now and then when you fight? I'm a bar two hundred pound now. Right now? But yeah. It's insane. I had leeches put on me the other day, like I don't know. What is that? Leeches. That's disgusting. Leeches. Yeah. <laughs> well, I had three got put on me belly button. Two got you put on me. You have an Audi? Me. Dude, I haven't seen an Audi yeah. in like Forever. Man's got an outy lad. No way. I've that's got a half in, half outy barely. It's not a full outy. That's insane. But yeah, the woman. Any, put, anyone here have an outy? No oh, chance. Not normal. Did so I I'm like the only man in the room that's not circumcised. I'm the only one with an outy. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here, please? Hey. I, I feel like I remember when I was younger, everyone had like so many more people had outies, and then now it's like you never see them. No, I know. What you it's mean. like they all died or something. It's weird. It is weird, like the, the way bare for you think an umbilical cord must cut cut must have got changed or something, wasn't it? Let me see that thing again. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, lad, it sticks out more when I'm fat as well. That's funny. You know so I mean? you're 200 right now. What do you get to when you fight? I weigh in at 155. No way. It's crazy. But you don't walk around at 155. You know what I mean? People think you. So that's 45 pounds. Um. Yeah, but as I say, I don't even start my camp at this, and so I'm like I'm fat at the minute. You know what I mean? Yeah. I go from like 190 to 155, but I die from like 190 to 170 and then fight week. I go from 170 to 155. So I'm just trying to gain 15 pounds. It's hard. That'd be little me, Franz, the same, lad. He's been here for like a week. Yeah, how do you gain so much weight? I need some tips. <sighs> come and eat with me, lad. Yeah. You don't need any tips. <laughs> just come and eat with me. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> promise Fourth you. quarter. Lad, Fourth quarter. <laughs> I promise you, you'll put weight on. Take you the in and out and get you the four by four. Yeah. That's just for starters. Appetizers. Yeah, I'm ready. Don't worry. You, you guys should do that. How much do you weigh? Uh, like one. I go from like 150 to 155. Just that five. I wish I ranged over five pounds. Yeah. I wish my range was five it's, pounds. It's hard for me to gain weight. My range is like 40 pounds. 160 is like, uh, the most I've ever weighed is 162. The most I've weighed is like 211. Yeah. It's crazy. Have you, have you guys done the, um, have you done the like mukbang? Is that what's called? Mukbang? Have you, have you done that? Oh. You guys got to do that. That'd be hilarious for your channel. The f- mukbang? Mukbang, I think it's like, what they, what they do? Get them all that food and shit? And then they go eat it. I think it's like a. I think they go kind of. Someone like was saying to me about the hot wing one, but I'm not that good with hot food. I'm not either. No. Like. But if you had a shit ton of food, it'd be. I think that would do well. Probably lad. I, I eat a shit ton of food as it is. Yes. My appetite died down a bit though. As I say, I'm about two hundred pounds now. When I'm a fat bastard, I can get to two ten. You ever seen Austin Powers? Yeah. Fat, fat bastard. Yeah. That'd be so funny. Lad, <laughs> he's one of the you best characters. Look like on him it. a little bit. <laughs> Well, then I guess I could end up with all flabby skin, you never know. My favourite character on that's goal, remember though? Yeah. Smoking a pancake. Yeah. Bong and a blitz. Yeah. Bong, Bong and a grits. Blitz. <laughs> 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 oh, so sick that, you know. <coughs> He's one of the best bat- villains on it, like, defo. But uh, I love it when Dr. Evil just turns to him and goes, uh, how about no, you crazy Dutch bastard? <laughs> and he's sitting there peeling his skin off. Yeah, that's disgusting. The gold skin. No, it's a keeper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. It's a keeper. <clears throat> so we got right off course there, though. Get back to the YouTube. YouTube, baby. Yeah. So obviously you mentioned it before, lad, your core fan base. Like, you've got a proper little loyal set of hardcore fans. And as you said, they mean more than anything. So go into detail a bit about them, lad. 
Yeah, that's kind of why I feel like when I hit seven million, like I don't really care as much you yeah. know, anymore because like I just worry more about just building like this loyal audience, you know, not, yeah. not so much chasing like 10 million, you know, rather yeah. just keep making the best content I can it consistently, keep yeah. posting good videos consistently, and then I'll continue to grow that like real that real audience of people. And it's cool because all these people that follow me, majority of them, we, we are like similar minded, you know? Yeah. Like I could hang out with pretty much all these kids like... Cause it's like we have the same interests, obviously. Cause my shit's so much like different than most people. So it's like you either like love it or just think I'm an idiot. You know what I mean? There's not there's not too much of. No, a, that's exactly what I was going to ask you next. Like, what yeah. do you reckon separates you from so many other YouTubers? Well, I think most of the well, most of the YouTubers just copy me. So <laughs> I, I, I'm like kind of the one maybe kind of going first. So it's like I just think if you're yourself, you're kind of different from everyone else. Yeah. I think too many people are just like trying to just do the same thing. Yeah. So I think if you if you kind of just be yourself naturally, it's, it separates you from everybody. Um, but it's exactly I, the same in the MMA <clears throat> world. I think a lot of people will will just chase money too too much. I think they'll sell out. I don't I don't do any of that. I don't I don't sell out. I don't take a brand deal that I don't feel like I should do. You know, if it doesn't match with me. Yeah. And I think from day one, I've I've stayed just authentic and consistent to what my plan was, and never yeah. never like changed like that. When I got a bunch of money, I never changed. You know, so just like that, I guess people. People, people aren't dumb, you know, they can see like, yeah. they can see when people are doing something for the wrong reason. They can see when people are taking deals and selling out. They can see when their people are scamming their fans or if they don't see it, they'll eventually find out because there's so many people now too that are like making these videos, like exposing scams yeah. and like, you know, these NFTs and, co and coins and all that bullshit. Like eventually it comes to light, you know, when you scam people. So What's your take on all that NFT shit? I don't know, man. I've been asked to get involved in it so many times. I'm just like, nah, I don't understand it. Yeah, it's just like... I just don't get it, lad, so I wouldn't get involved in it because I don't understand none of that. Exactly. It's like investing. If you don't... Yeah, if you don't if, understand, if I don't understand, what understand it, I don't is. really want to do it. Yeah. So I, it just seemed like a... I think I think the NFT thing could have been done correctly. Yeah. Like, there were definitely ways... I had ideas of cool things we could have done that wouldn't have scammed people and everyone would have made money, but we didn't do it. But, I mean, when everyone's doing a scam then now an NFT is attached to a scam. So it's like when everyone's scamming people, it's just not a good look. And then yeah. now it's a scam, you know? So, I mean, I just stay away from that type of shit. Yeah. I, don't, I don't even want my name next to it. It's exactly. Like, I got asked to do it so many <laughs> times, lad, but I was like, I don't understand it. So I'm good for that. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Then you hear about all different people scamming people with it. Yeah. Like, yeah, and I'm when something's too good to be true, it's probably... Yeah, it probably, probably is. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, any of these, like, dude, when these people are making, like, just money, like, crazy money, like, when they shouldn't be... The only way you can get rich quick is if someone is getting fucked over. Yeah. That's it. You're, there's no way to just get rich quick unless yeah. you fuck someone over or you win the lottery. Yeah. And then, but if, if it's not the lottery, then you're probably fucking someone over. And I don't, I don't really want to be a part of fucking people over. So, yeah, that was a weird time, man. There was so much. Remember that shit? Dude, it was crazy. <laughs> there's fucking those coins and like. I, I like, know there's all different coins as well, isn't it, that you can buy? Like, I know everyone knows Bitcoin, but I don't understand none of it, me, all that cryptocurrency. Yeah, and well, we talk about this too. It's like, like for me, for example, I had nothing. I came here, I was homeless, I had nothing. And then I build this fan base and make money, right? Yeah. Why the fuck would I want to fuck over the same people that, like, took me off the street yeah. and sell them all this bullshit? But people are able, like, these content creators are able to do that somehow. Yeah. I don't get it. Well, a lot of them don't come from nothing, too, so they probably value shit. Yeah, you're right but, there. But um, yeah, I think it's weird though. But like, they got you famous, and then you f them over. It's just insane. Yeah, it's a piece of move. Yeah, it's like it's crazy. Uh, you're right there though. It's got to be a pyramid scheme. I don't know if yeah, basically, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's got to be a pyramid scheme. Someone's getting. But obviously, that we all we all get hate on YouTube. Like, how'd you deal with it? Because um, well, I, yeah, the hate, hate thing. I don't. It, it's just annoying sometimes. I mean, like, it's just well, you just let it go. It doesn't yeah. matter. Like. But in some the of end, the, the, it gets like at first it started annoying me at first, but in the end it gets to a point you must have just yeah you get no I don't yeah, like, you I get don't to a point it. just like ah oh, sometimes it's funny yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, but it's like sometimes there, a lot of the like hate comments have no like like I don't mind constructive criti criticism at all but a lot of the hate comments are just like it's like they're idiot like they just have no like it, it holds no value what they they're say. just jealous lot the yeah but, lot. But, they wish their life was like that so they just say something exactly you know I mean? yeah jealous yeah exactly or it's like it's like. Most of them are like, it's like if you fuck someone's girlfriend type thing. Like that's how they, that's how their feelings are though. They yeah. just hate you f for no reason. It's like, you know what I mean? It's not your fault you did that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like it's the, it would be, I would say more of her fault, not, not yours. So it's like, they just hate for, for whatever reason. And then, um, 
Yeah, I don't know. But it doesn't stop. It, it doesn't like it continues and continues and continues. But as you say, you're getting them to it. And I sit there and giggle at some of them now. Yeah, exactly. Calling me yeah, a fat yeah. piece of shit, isn't that? Exactly. You know yeah, what I mean? That's, that's, they're very nice. <laughs> yeah. But you could cure cancer, dude, if people still talk. I say, lad, like literally. I say this, lad. I could donate ten million pounds to a charity. Why didn't you donate eleven? Yeah, and I'd yeah. get called a piece of dog. Yeah, you know what I mean. We so, always make that joke. Like we could go to Skid Row right now and donate like a thousand tacos, and they'd be like, "Why didn't you give them burritos?" Yeah, <laughs> like every time it's like nothing. You can't do any. You can't do anything right. So you, I, I'm not even kidding. If we cure cancer right now, they'd be like, "Finally, what the what took you so yeah. long?" They would still like they, they would people. People would still talk shit, like 100%. There's no chance you can get away with doing anything without someone talking. Shit. No, that you said that then as well. That's something that like you started doing. You were one of the originals, where you to start just doing videos with strangers. Uh, no, nah, not not like the I think uh, Andrew Hales, which was someone See, I who, don't who even know. I don't know who that is. Yeah, he was a he had a channel called Loft. Um, but he was like one of the originals, and yeah. he he kind of took me in when I was. Um, See, I don't even know who he is. Yeah, he he's like, uh, just I don't even. Know, just is he still on YouTube or not now? Yeah, he still does YouTube. Yeah, yeah. He, but he's like the OG, like one of the originals, like that first like, um, the camcorder either. <laughs> yeah, like back in like I don't know, twenty to what two thousand probably nine, yeah, two thousand ten. Just one of the in that kind of that first group. But he he was hilarious, just doing like awkward stuff like in public, messing with people, and then uh, he let me like live with him too in LA, and then helped me in the beginning as well, and then. Uh, yeah, he's hilarious, but kind of took, showed me a lot of stuff too, you know, things, yeah. I, things I could do and it helped a lot. I mean, g giving me a place to stay was huge back then. That was like in insane. But uh, yeah, I was probably, there was like this first wave of creators and then I was probably that like second wave. Just after. Yeah, yeah. just after like, there was like, you know, the Roman Atwoods. I don't know if you know him. Yeah. And, like, he's from the, is he from the UK? Uh, I think he's Ohio. Or is he? No, I don't know. Yeah, and I mean, I'm thinking he, of another Roman I think he UK. was in the first, is he in the first wave or am I just lost? No, he was in the first wave with like Logan and yeah, yeah, Logan was Vine, I think. Vine. Yeah, I think he was. At, I think he was still at, was around my time. Logan was in like the second. I would say the second wave. Yeah, and then um, was Jeffrey Star like in that first wave or second? PewDiePie, I think Pew PewDiePie was like one of the first, right? Remember MySpace? Now MySpace, lad, Jesus. We're going anyway, back but now. yeah, there was like this big first wave of creators. I wasn't in yeah. that. I was like kind of that like second one. Kind of feels like high school a little bit. It's like. You have like freshmen, sophomores, yeah. and then it's like they graduate and they go do different, shit and that's like that's what it feels like. It's just like, but it feels like I'm in like college still. I'm like, yeah, it's just like because then all these there's all these new creators, and then everyone I started with is like gone. I feel like a super senior or something. Well, now with these content creators are starting at like the age of five, and then aren't they? I know it's crazy. Like, like some of the most pro, like that Ryan's tour review. Yeah, I heard he like makes like. Isn't it like a, a nine year old who makes the most money off yeah, YouTube that's, now? That's the kid, I think. Yeah, who opens Great. toys? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan's toy review. Yeah, like I'm sure he makes more money than anyone else on YouTube. Yeah, it said like he made like 20 million or something. I and think. he's not even, I don't think he can even take the money yet because he's too young or something. That's crazy. <laughs> IRS can take it though. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> lad, they're taking 50% <laughs> off him straight away. <laughs> it's not seeing his, uh, his savings account, that all of it. No chance. Yeah, but um, yeah, YouTube's crazy. It, I don't know. I, di I didn't think I'd still be doing it this the, long. They're the videos that I always think would have got the most chance of going wrong, though. No? You go over to strangers yeah yeah obviously like that that was pretty much i think where i got my first like little break was definitely doing the um the public stuff i would go to like ucla and usc and and just like f around on campus yeah make fun of like fr fraternities or sororities and like you know i did this thing called offensive interview prank and like i'd just be like hey excuse me um would you want to be in my interview and then they'd be like oh yeah what's it about and i'd be like oh we're just interviewing guys who stick sharpies up their butt when they jack off you know, like I would just like just say random offensive things. Those I see what he said, Bach. Yeah, they they would. Uh, YouTube's deleted like three of them though, so I kind of had to stop doing them. Yeah, yeah. They, I I think because it's like I'm making fun of people, but I'm not. But it's just a joke. You can't say say jokes anymore, yeah, though, can you? Yeah, it's crazy. They usually just age restrict something. But yeah, that's a. Uh, yeah, I mean that's one thing too of our channel. It's like most creators have to like exaggerate their life, you yeah. know, and make it seem like it's something it's not. But we always have to like tone ours way down because it's like they're just delete every yeah, video. Yeah, YouTube will just delete the video on you if you. Yeah, this guy's crazy, man. Alex, dude, he's nuts. I can't see his face because the computer. Yeah, he's crazy. You gotta yeah, watch, watch out for him. <laughs> What's the craziest thing he's done then? Oh, uh, I can't even. I don't even. Too many. Apart from running you over on a dirt bike. 
Dude, that sucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was not good. That's, what, I, that's something I've never even done. You know, I've never rode a motorbike. Yeah, we need to get him to Florida. Who runs your stuff? Which guy? Yeah, we need Manager to... Manager there and then content. We need to get him to Florida. There. Florida, we can do anything. I've never been to Florida. Well, I have when I was a baby. I went you when you I was just don't want to get hurt, but you yeah. can have you do stuff you won't get hurt. It's crazy there. I'd love to have a go of a motorbike. Like, I've, I've never... I've had a little go of a little mini moto when I was a kid. Yeah. That was about it. Yeah, we got scooters and dirt bikes, four wheelers. I drive a, I drive a scooter when I'm in Thailand. Yeah. You've got to drive a scooter in Thailand or you They're don't fun. get anywhere. Yeah, we got we bought these ones that you can wheelie. So yeah. So we just like wheelie them around town all day. So I can't even wheelie a, a cycle. I can't do a, cy- a bicycle either. Can't? <laughs> no. I can only do like dirt bikes and four wheelers and stuff. So we do, you can, you can wheelie a dirt bike on a four wheeler, but you can't wheelie a bike. No, yeah. Is that, that doesn't make any sense at all. You think the bicycle's easier, Alex? That should yeah. Dude, ten I can't, times easier. I can't wheel a bicycle. I don't know why. That should be way easier. Dude, one time remember in Hawaii I was trying with those kids and my fing back got so sore. <laughs> it was like cramping up. I like couldn't move. It was Um I don't know. I think it's the pedaling. I think it's the pedal. At the same time. Yeah, my brain's like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, that's my Because a dirt bike's easy. A dirt bike is just like you just use your foot brake. You just and it pops you right. Surely up. it's a lot heavier. Yeah, but you don't have to do anything. All you do is, if you get a dirt bike with enough power, you literally oh, yeah, just you don't have to in the move. Front tire lifts yeah, off, just, yeah, it pops right up, and then you press the brake. If you go too high, the brake is what lowers you, and then you gas it to go back up. So then you kind of just keep fucking around like that. Yeah, I'll be honest. You don't need to tell me. I'm not gonna try and wheel you. Teach you. If you get if it's you easy. get me on a dirt bike, I'm not gonna try and wheel it's you. Easy. I don't fancy falling on me back with a full dirt bike on me. You know what I mean? I'm but, you, but you can kick me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> that man. <laughs> That yeah. hurt more than getting run over by my man on a dirt bike. He was on a little one too. What, like a mini moto? Yeah, he was on a little dirt bike and I was on the big one and I got fed up. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, was you on a bike as well? Yeah. I thought he just mowed you and you were just stood no, there. No, I was on one and he just fucking crashed into me. Yeah, that should have hurt him more. If he was on a little one, That's I thought that would have hurt him more. I don't know what happened. You were on the little one, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was funny. I was going like five miles an hour. That's why then. Was you going fast? Yeah, yeah. Then I had to get, that, that's just answered the question for us. I had to get like stitches right here, and then they didn't, they didn't like, they didn't numb it. Yeah. So he's just like stabbing. I was like, I was like, dude, I think you're doing it wrong. Yeah. And he was just like stabbing his skin. I was like, I was like, dude, I think, I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Hurt so bad. I didn't cry. I only cried for like five minutes. I'll be honest. I'm surprised <laughs> you haven't had more injuries because obviously, dude, she, I don't even want to talk about it, man. That, yeah, obviously, you're right. But as I say, I'm surprised <laughs> he hasn't had more injuries. The sh- you blew up and all the bad. Sh- You've done all the cards, you've flipped. Yeah, I think like concu- I've had a couple concussions. Yeah. Like, but that's it. I, I try to be like mimic jackass the best I can without getting hurt. Without I, getting hurt. Yeah, I don't want to be like fed up. That's why I'm not as crazy as him, you know? Well, we we had one at, did you ever see Dirty Sanchez? What is that? That was like the UK version of Jackass. No, no, never. Remember Dirty Sanchez, Tom? Lad, they done some mad shit, yeah. lad. They like dragged each other along. And sandpaper with bare asses. Oh no! And like whoever done it faster won. You know what I mean? All stuff like, ah, oh, lad, he done some weird shit like that. That's, Just like Jackass, but yeah, they're crazy. They done it a little bit, a little bit weirder because they were they were Welsh, weren't they? Three of them were Welsh, and one was from London, so they were very strange characters. That's funny. You got to be different, though. You know what <laughs> I mean? Got, lad, you got to be different if yeah. you're doing that, lad. Like, what was some of the stuff they were doing, lad? They were on balls of steel. Yeah, they were on balls of steel and other program. But like I was gonna say, one of the things none of you could even do. One of them got the f- where you shouldn't be able to do because he's a circumcised. Something to do with the skin on his bell end. Pritch got something done to his bell end, didn't he? On the end of his bell end. He got like a weight put on his bell end or something like that, lad. There was this Just, thing back in the day called like uh, Pain Olympics. Did you ever see that? And, like, I'd have heard of that. I think the one guy like cut his dick off, right? Yeah, dude. Lad. We should do that. <laughs> <laughs> You you might be able to get someone to do it. Like I'm yeah. not doing that. Yeah. that. See enough horrible videos on what gets sent down, <laughs> lads, to know what happens when people get the <laughs> chopped off, lad. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah, I don't even have mine. Look, I swear. Da, go. You're gonna get your you, lads. We can all do that, lads. We can all do that. Yes, yeah. you know, I don't even have mine. <laughs> We can all get our fake vaginas out, lad. I got, I got, lad. Ri- I got rid of it. <laughs> he went a step further with the circumcision <laughs> and just said, get it all gone. We don't need that no more. Cut it all off. That's too funny. <laughs> <laughs> hell. That's first. Yeah, we've never, we've never had that on the podcast, like. <laughs> a lot of people, a lot of people have that. Yeah, we've just, never had a like. They're not, con- they're not confident. 
sick lad. But know what? I am gonna have to ask you about Papa John lad, because every everyone wants to know lad. Know Papa I mean? John? Yeah. Or Papa Jim? Papa, sorry, that's f***ing hell. Just said Papa John. It's because I just read that wrong there. We, we know both. It's crazy. <laughs> right when Papa Jim died, we met Papa John. Yeah, someone's written that wrong there, lad. That's just because I've read it there. It says, how would you describe Papa John's personality? So I just read it off the sheet. Sorry, Papa God. John or Papa Jim? Well, you just, did you just... They're both getting... It's getting confusing. We, we, we'll we be at Papa John's house and we'll say Papa Jim and then we'll be talking about Papa Jim and say Papa John. <laughs> I was meant to say Papa Jim then. I was meant Jim? to say Papa John just because I read it off then. I don't oh, even know who Papa gotcha. John's is. Papa John's it's a pizza place. It's a, it's a pizza guy, but you did, some, but you did something with him too. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. It was interesting. So Papa Jim died, and then we meet Papa John right after. It's crazy. The pizza man, Papa yeah, John. Yeah, like how the f would I ever meet Papa John? I know what, like that's what I mean. I, I think Papa Jim sent it, sent him to us. Yeah, I didn't even know you'd met Papa John. That's what I mean. I meant to say Papa Jim then, yeah. but read on the sheet, Papa John. <clears throat> yeah, we did it. So, but we do the same thing. Papa Jim, though, he's the best. I mean, uh, I don't know. He just always is like. I mean, he's just. And always wanted girls. Really, <laughs> he's just a funny guy. I don't know how do how do you describe him, Alex? He's always wanting bitches at his house. Just that's it. Always, where are the girls? He'd always say, "Where are the girls?" That's just what any single mom wants, isn't it? Yeah, he, no, he's married. At? He's married. <laughs> he, he uh, so, yeah, he's married. He's a nudist. I, there was some lady <laughs> bitching about us because so he's a nudist. So I went in the pool yeah. with him, and w when he swims, he swims naked. Always. I mean, he walks around the house naked. He's always like naked most of the time. But <clears throat> when he swims, he's always swimming naked. If you have clothes on, it's weird in his eyes. So I was in the pool with him swimming naked, him and his wife, and we're all naked and like it's in a video and then some lady was bitching at uh Richie is his uh wife's son, so Richie would take care of Papa Jim and stuff. And some lady was rich into uh, Richin <laughs> to Richie uh and and Richie's son they were at them about saying like we're exploiting Papa Jim and all this shit. I was like, What are you talking about? He's a nudist. And they were saying we were making him get naked to get in the pool and stuff. It was crazy. But I mean he's just like I don't know the word, what, like, free spirit. He just doesn't give a f about anything, man. He's just, like, yeah, gets naked, swims, wants girls, watches porn all day, like, <laughs> drinks Coke, eats Reese's. Um, I mean, I think they're, like, I mean, yeah, they're just bad. I thought my dad was a, was a bit out of the ordinary lad, but he's Papa wild. Jim's special. <laughs> yeah, he, no, he's the best. He's funny, so. <laughs> you yeah. know you're ready, like, when you're walking around with your house. <laughs> Dude, yeah, he all day, all day, man. <laughs> We'd always blur it and give him this giant sensor bar, like as big as we could put it. Yeah. <laughs> it made them feel boss. Yeah, try, we tried to. Would it be funny that though if he was ever out and like people who'd watch the videos, if they make it look well bigger than that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he said. wouldn't go in public naked, but uh, <laughs> if they went to his house, I mean, he was always naked, yeah. But obviously, what a, what, I didn't even know you'd met Papa John. Yeah, we, like as I say, I've just read that off the sheet there. I meant to say Papa Jim, but when I looked at the sheet, I said Papa John. Yeah, I'm. I met him playing pickleball. He's like, he, glad he, this is another thing. Did you just mention pickleball? Everyone keeps mentioning pickleball to yeah. me in America. What the fuck's pickleball? It's like, like it keeps get, <laughs> lad. It keeps getting mentioned to me, and I'm like, what the fuck's this? It keeps getting bigger, man. It's like it's fake like, tennis, isn't it? Uh, it, it's like if you're if you're more athletic than a tennis player, you'd play pickleball. It's like. Uh, <laughs> piss off every, <laughs> every tennis player it's like it's like i would say like tennis and ping pong so it's like smaller and then you have like a paddle and then a like a wiffle ball like a plastic ball and then it's sick though it's fun sounds like a game for kids yeah it's fun you'd like it i like tennis though you you're not a tennis player i'm not a tennis player like but i like tennis i can see him playing tennis. <laughs> I'm all like that. I'm more like the tennis show. I need to see this. <laughs> well, you'd, you'd be good at pickleball then. You should try it. And I'm more like the ping pong. So yeah, the ping pong. But lad, he's mentioned it to me. Since I've got to America, I've heard pickleball so many times. That, Have you like, played it? Yeah. Oh, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. It's, it's for like unathletic tennis players. No, stop. Stop. See, he's stop. just he's just crashed it up there. I'm, I'm very athletic. He's I'm just very crashed athletic it up there. I, it's for I people who are athletic. No, he's just stop. He's just let me know. I and I've heard it's for 68 year old retirees. I think that's where it got really big was in the older community. <laughs> that's where it started getting huge. Is that why you were playing with Papa John then? Let's get back to that. Dude, he's in shape, man. Is he? He's in what shape. I swear, Google him, man. How old is he, lad? He's looking good, man. How old is he? He's, how what? How old is he? Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, honestly. Yeah. Maybe, maybe 45. I think he's 45. 
For, he's 45, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah <laughs> <laughs> Most importantly, did you win the pickleball game? Uh, well, we were playing like it was just like for fun. Like we, yeah. we, they did a good idea. They had like let's say there's 20 people. Yeah, you would just play like me and you would play a game. Me and him would play a game. Me and him. Would, so everyone. And you just to, round robin. Yeah, yeah, rotate, yeah. You kind of get rotate. to meet, but then you get to meet everybody that's yeah. there. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you should you should definitely try it. We can play. I have a game of pickleball, like but me and him playing doubles would be funny as. F- <laughs> <laughs> How big's the court then? Um, I don't f- remember. Forty four. F- Something I think forty four feet. Bit mentioned it as well, didn't yeah, he? Bit, how, right. how far? How high? How far is it, Jaime? Mean? Because um, it's like just the first twenty by forty four. Twenty by forty four, yeah, dude's fried. Because Bear Christ, you mentioned it as well. You know what I mean? Pickleball, and someone else mentioned it to me. Yeah. I'm like, no, I actually met no one famous really doing YouTube and getting followers. Yeah. And then I played pickleball, and I me- started meeting everybody. That's, so that's how you've met people who are I famous. I met Papa people. John. I met Jamie Fox. I mean, who else? Jamie Gron- Fox. Yeah. I played with Gronkowski. Like we started just meeting a bunch of like, you know, pretty. Did you start the game of pickleball with Jamie just, Fox. Yeah, we played pickleball with him. Yeah, Belton. he's good too. He's funny. Yeah, yeah, he's hilarious. Yeah, his impressions are sick. Lad, when he does oh, people's he's, voices, he's, got he's so theory. talented. Yeah, that guy's that guy's a beast. <laughs> he can sing. He can act. He can do impressions. What can he do? He's got like three courts at his house. Yeah. Yeah. He, lo- he loves it. It's fun. But what was it you said? All the tennis courts getting changed to pickleball courts. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is like pickleball tennis. Season. Tennis is cool and and whatnot. But like we couldn't all go play tennis right now. Like a lot of these guys right here that you're looking at are not athletic <laughs> and they can't Don't play. Don't put them down Imagine, like that. Lad. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but we can all go play pickleball. Anyone can pick up pickleball. Yeah. So it's like way it's way easier I think to grow the sport recreationally yeah. because like anyone could like you could go play with anybody and it's like anyone could pick it up. So it's it's fun for that. And I think COVID obviously blew it up more because yeah. everyone was bored as hell at home. But yeah, it's it's fun. I've had a lot of good time. I was playing too much pickleball. I had to make myself stop. I was playing every day. Yeah. Yeah. And my channel, my YouTube channel. That like, addictive, yeah. Yeah. My YouTube channel was like going down. I was like, I was doing tournaments. <laughs> my YouTube channel was like going, the views are like going down. Why didn't like, you have people video when you're playing pickleball? We like? do. Yeah. But no one wants to watch that. Why not? <laughs> they want to watch me do dumb shit. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, I was like, dude, okay, I gotta stop playing pickleball. So then my views are now like going back up. But it was like, I was like, all right, too much, too much pickleball, man. Oh, well, lad, you're sick. Yeah. Don't drink, don't smoke, but I get addicted to pickleball. Yeah, I think that's easy to do. Yeah, yeah. It's much better to be addicted to that. I, than I get addicted else. to do a lot of shit like that. Like, <laughs> the, the wheeling the scooter is like the thing I've been doing right now. I just do that all day, and then eventually that will fade, and I'll do something else. I can't wait to come to Florida, lad. Yeah, it's the best. It's gonna be sick, lad. Therefore, when I come one day, and uh, I'm trying to think when I'm next in America. If I don't come back in June, when I go home, I'm getting surgery, so I won't be able to do nothing for a few weeks. I'm just gonna have to rest up. Yeah, Florida's, you'll love it. It's the best place. As I say, I've only been there when I was a proper baby lad. Like, I went to the theme parks, but Disney. Like, Disney, and that when I, but I was only about nine months, a year old, so I can't remember. That sounds, it, that sounds awful. Bring a kid there at nine months, what is the point? I know. Pointless. I had an older brother and sister though. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. That's they cool. enjoyed it. And I didn't get to. But uh, before we finish, lad, yeah. got me that last Paddy segment. So a few people have been commenting on the YouTube. Got a few uh, questions for you, yeah. First one from Slim Jim. <laughs> question is, what is, is what, oh, my question is, what is his work or play ratio as the video make his life seem like a blast? And is that far? From, it's that far from everyone's reality. What the? What do you say? I know what I mean. <laughs> like, what, what's your work to play ratio? Oh, yeah, I, my yeah, question we is: What does his work or play ratio as the videos make his life seem like such a blast? And that from so far from everyone's reality. Yet yeah, the question is the first bit of it. Well, Slim Jim, yeah. where's your questions a bit better next time, lads? <laughs> it's not getting or it's not getting read out. <laughs> I think I mean we were we were I work a lot yeah and it's not obviously not just the videos I have other things I'm doing yeah. but um I mean it's, the videos are pretty realistic it's not we don't like ex- exaggerate or script anything really yeah. it's pretty on brand um, you can see where look at this setup <laughs> you know what I mean he's got a better setup than me he hasn't even got his own podcast yet <laughs> yeah, one day we'll get it one day but um yeah I mean we we I I work nonstop I try to yeah. always be doing so I, I prefer that I don't know I don't really want to sit here and do nothing but um yeah you can tell you don't smoke pot yeah. I love sitting there and doing nothing. I sometimes I get cravings to smoke weed, but I don't do it. I like the smell. <laughs> the smells, boss. That's what we said this the other day. That annoys me when people say weed smells not nice. I like the smell. It smells weed. beautiful. Yeah. Love. It's a but beautiful it, smell. It is. Andrew M. Next question. 
Danny, how do you stay grounded and keep people and keep people who genuinely care about you around? And how do you weed out the people who are only there for their own intentions? I, I think it's that's just like a what is it like experiences in yeah. life? I guess give you that. I don't know experiences life experience, in life, yeah. or uh, you just naturally have it. I usually feel like I can tell. Yeah. Um, unless the person's a little different, like not a normal person, then they eventually f- you over and you figure it out. But <laughs> we've all been there. Like, that happens too. You know? Yeah, that happens. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. you can't you can't you can't gauge someone who's just not all there correctly. And sometimes you need that life lesson as well, lad. Yeah, yeah, I guess. But yeah, next one, Dalton Peterson asks, Danny, we know you enjoy the good times. However, when life is hard and mistakes are made, how do you appreciate the negatives? How do you appreciate the negative sides of life? Much love to both of you. How can you appreciate the negative sides of life? No one wants the negative sides of life. Yeah, I don't know. That's, I just, a, that's a mad question, though. I just try to learn from it i guess or use it in some way it it, it just depends what it is you know like, yeah like papa jim dying it's just like i just try to think like well he was 94 he lived a good life yeah. i just try to like pull positives from everything like at least when he was 94 he was still riding his bike you know most people aren't riding their bike in 94 yeah. um and then uh yeah and then most of the shit we deal with day to day where i bitch about it it's like it doesn't really matter it's not a real problem so yeah. then i just try to remind myself yeah, I laugh about things like that. I moan about things and yeah. just go off first world problems. I'm yeah, exactly, like, oh. exactly. So I just try to like always, the most thing, I just care about my health really. Yeah. And people's health. So it's like as long as I'm healthy, it's like we're all good. Well, as you mentioned there, uh, Papa Jim, the next one, the next question, Godavard Zay asks, what is his favorite memory with Papa Jim? It says, note. Some, look at that someone's put no to Papa Jim is the older man who appeared in some of Danny's videos if I don't know who Papa Jim is <laughs> come maybe, on, maybe he's trying to help you yeah he's trying to help me lad, but come on thank you for the help I really man, I really appreciate that I don't know so every every memory was good man it was cool like anytime we just show up it's always like a good time yeah you know? we just walk in the house and it's always every time was funny and like but uh, I mean the f- first time we filmed with him was hilarious he just kept saying these funny lines and then um, I don't know. What do you think, Alex? You got any? Throwing the Coke bottles. We were throwing all these Coke bottles, and they were just like shooting off, shooting a gun. We shot a gun with them. What's cool? There. I mean, every every moment was great, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Next one from Ill Fitted. What caused you to do collabs as little as possible? Kind of like staying in your own lane on YouTube. The majority of your career. That's a good question, though. Yeah. Uh, well, like you said, like you we like people are kind of can you over or like they're not yeah. genuine. I felt like when I was doing YouTube, a lot of people were very fake doing at this point I was doing pranks. A lot of people were doing like fake pranks and they were just like, you could tell like most people are really just like, you know, chasing a dollar or chasing followers. Like they're yeah. not really like authentic people. So, but I found like people like Andrew Hales who I did collab with that, yeah. that dude who, like I was saying, let me stay with him. Chris Chan. Um, there, there were people like I did, but not a lot. It's just yeah. like, I, I could just tell these were good people and people I wanted to be around, but a lot of times there's just a lot of scumbags out there, but, um, there are tons of creators now that are obviously cool, but I just like kind of wanted to build this channel of my own, stay in my yeah. own lane, like, like he said, and then, uh, not have to depend on collabs or depend on other people or constantly be chasing that. Yeah, like, Oh, I, I need to get, so. I need to get more followers from, from Patty or yeah. from whoever, you know, like I wanted to just be able to like be self-sustaining and post whatever I wanted and it do well. Not like I would see so many people like, let's say they're dancing videos and then they would like that would kind of fall off and then they're f- and they can't they can't do a vlog about their life they had yeah. to do like one thing so i didn't want to ever get stuck in that world and then uh but yeah i uh also too i i've done a collab in the past and you kind of help people and then they like go to f- you know f- and if yeah f- you over so then that kind of like turned me off too yeah, i don't want to do it with someone else in case they f- get over yeah again it's right like it's that. like what's wrong with you because one thing i really hate is like when i help someone and then they like do something against you. It's like, what the f- is wrong with you? Yeah. Especially when you're, hel- I hate when I help somebody and then they like, they don't appreciate it as well. Yeah. I hate that. So that's one thing that really like pissed me off. Yeah. Yeah. Next question. Does Danny have any business tips for the ventures he's taken <laughs> from Joe, Jose boots? Oh, Jose. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, I think like what we were saying earlier, like, like stick to what you know. Yeah. Um, I, I watch a lot of Warren Buffett videos he talks about that, like investing in things that you actually know, um, rather than just chasing some uh, trend. You know, yeah, like we were saying before, yeah, like, the like, crypto and stuff. don't always, don't be chasing trends. Like if you, 
like I mean Papa John for example made really good pizzas you know learned yeah. learned how to make really good pizzas and then he took that and then eventually you know they were making so much money off one location he opens more and then eventually yeah. builds it into over 5,000 locations it's like but he had a passion for let's say the pizzas you know loved making pizzas like find something you're passionate about um like I, I love like we make funny shirts I love making funny shirts so I mean I can do that like in my sleep so yeah. I, that's something I've kind of like doubled down on is just like coming up with more funny t-shirts like like things that you're actually passionate about then you're not having to work like a job like at least it doesn't feel like that because you, yeah. could, you could spend 80 hours a week on it it's not gonna feel I know like what you mean there. i enjoy punching people in the exactly face. exactly so it's like you doing that is, yeah makes sense it does exactly i know exactly <laughs> what you're saying there yeah two more questions uh from aaron dempsey as two businessmen what was the keys to each of your success besides being t- truly genuine and unique being yourself yeah wait, what was the question as two businessmen, what was the keys to each of your success? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think staying but myself. Then, yeah. But then he said, besides being truly genuine and unique. Uh, so, yeah, just being yourself, that's the main thing. And, like, I think, like, being being myself and then always trying to, like, just push the bar a little bit, too. Yeah. Like, I was trying to do more and, like, yeah, just keep going. Consistency, too. That's why I was asking, has anyone ever got it? Because, lads, some of the sh- you do, yeah. lad. I'm surprised <laughs> no one's ever been killed. Yeah. Never mind it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah last question anyway from Bryce Hawk would Danny come to the next paddy fight and will he do a paddy haircut dude yeah the haircut would be funny I'll do the haircut <laughs> imagine him with, with bleach blonde you, I gotta, hair I gotta, I gotta, I gotta straighten it imagine him with bleach blonde hair dad <laughs> when's the next fight I don't know as I say I get dude, old next week and I've gotta get surgery you can't lose though if I do the haircut man. No, I'm gonna feel, I don't lose anyway I'm gonna feel horrible <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, imagine I get the haircut, Alex. He loses, and I'm just sitting there with the haircut. <laughs> all right, you'd man. have to shave it. You'd have to shave it. Have to yeah, shave it all off, lad. That would be that'd be a good Instagram photo. <laughs> yeah. just me, me and you with the haircut. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I'll do that. Let nice of being sad, lad. Anyway, but uh, tell everyone where to find you. Not only socials and where to get your merch and all stuff like that. Yeah, um, DannyDuncan69.com. That's it. That it. Danny Young 69 is all my uh, all my socials, yeah. Yeah. Sweet and simple. Nice. <laughs> or you can go to That's where I live. Just giving you the dress out now, yeah? If they want to find me, they can go there. You're brave. <laughs> I wouldn't be giving me a dress out in America, me, lad. People be turning up with shotguns and Mach 10s. We yeah. have those in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know you do. But uh, thank you for watching, people. See you next week.